Power Supply Install ATX Part 2 Here are the system board, PCI Express, hard drives, and optical drives. These all need power from the power supply. Notice the fan will face the bottom of the chassis when installed. The rear chassis cutout has tabs for the power supply. When mounting, make sure the power supply frame is resting on these tabs. The power supply came with screws that are shiny metal. The chassis came with black screws. We will use the black screws. Place the power supply rear frame against the rear of the inside chassis. Hold it in place with one hand while placing the screw into one of the holes. Loosely tighten this screw until we have all four screws installed. Repeat this with the other screws. There is a round head screw in the upper right on this chassis. We have the option to use a round head screw in the upper left to finish mounting the power supply. This will make it look nice. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the four screws. Now that the power supply is installed, we can hook things up. Find the 12 volt CPU power connector in the bundle and plug it into the 12 volt CPU header on the system board. We will leave these wires loose and take care of them later. Find one SATA power branch. Plug one SATA power connector into the SATA power header on the rear of the optical drive. Next is the 24 pin mainboard power connector. Plug it into the 24 pin system board power header. Find the other SATA power branch. We are going to use two SATA power connectors from this branch on our hard drives. To make them easier to plug in, temporarily remove the SATA data connections on the hard drives. Just remember which one goes where when we hook them back up. Plug one SATA power connector into the SATA power header on the rear of each hard drive. Plug the SATA data cables back into their respective positions on the hard drives. Find the two PCI Express power branches. Plug each PCI Express power connector into each PCI Express power header on the video cards. Next, we will bundle up our cables and close the chassis. 